A very good day to you. In this video, we're going to look at nicktiming, which is basically combining your network interface cards. Okay, and basically, how do we do that? We need to open up Server Manager, which you can do by clicking over here, or if you're having a problem, over there, Server Manager. Perfect. Okay, and then that opens up that. All you need to do is Whichever server you're trying to configure, go to all servers, okay, and then basically you'll get this box. Right click on it, click Nick Teaming, configure Nick Teaming, and then this window opens up over here. Okay, once you're here, if you have more than one network interface card, okay, Nick, you can basically combine them, okay, and it'll show you. So basically, what you need to do is click Tasks, New Team, and then Join them together, give it a name. Okay. For example, okay, additional properties, okay, switch independent, which is way quite nice. Okay, and over here, what's happening is if one packs up, the other takes over, or if shall we say both are running fine, you basically can get like an increased bandwidth on it. Okay? Alright. Standby in case, let's say, one fails, okay, you can have one set as a standby. So basically one's being used and one is kept kind of like in reserve. And when the one that fails packs up, the other one springs to life and your network keeps moving. Okay, so that's that option over there. We'll basically keep both active. So we're kind of like having a combined network and getting more speed together okay we click okay and then that's fine okay there we go once that's set up basically that's fine you will see this is basically where you can get your information okay basically our NICs okay one of them's connected one of them is not connected right now okay so basically what's happening is a very good example of, shall we say, in case you're having two or three or four Nix team together, one fails, you can basically see that, the others take over, okay, and everything's good. You'll also see messages coming over there. Okay, we've now reconnected that one, so the other one's active, and then we're now getting a combined bandwidth. We're not really using the net right now, so nothing's quite moving through it, okay? Everything's been locked. Okay, so hopefully this has helped.